Hi, I'm Dan, and today we're going to be adding an articulated track to this K40 laser to keep the airline away from the laser beam and off the workpiece. All right, let me show you what I have as a temporary setup. This head came from Amazon, and I installed a tube on it. But in order to get the tube from falling into the workpiece, I have a rubber band uh, that pulls it back over here. So this is fine just to, as a proof of concept, but what I'd really like is a, a track cable here that, that can pivot and allow the, the tube to remain inside the, the cable. In order to do that, I'm gonna put a screw up from the bottom on this plate right here and attach the the track to it so that it can pivot while it's in operation. All right, the first step is to remove the metal plate that's on top. We will need to realign the laser after this update is done. Next, we'll unscrew the, the head and set that aside. So I would like the hole for the screw to be right about here. All right, we're gonna use a number 13 bit to drill a hole for a number 10 screw. All right, I have pre-measured and cut a number 10 screw. This one is about 35 millimeters, and it is going to go up through the, the bottom, and there is enough clearance between the top of the, the horizontal support there and the, the screw head so that it won't be rubbing at all. What I'd like to do is use a, a fairly large washer and then a lock nut to make sure this is really secure on there. I really don't want it coming loose when the machine is in operation. All right, that is not going anywhere. So this aluminum tube is gonna be used to go over the screw so that the track doesn't rub on the screw itself. So I need to cut the aluminum tubing the same size as the, the width of the track. When the tubing is cut, it leaves a little bit of a burr on the inside. So that can be cleaned out with a, an X-Acto knife. All right, so we have the plate with a screw on it. I'm gonna put a nylon washer on there. The aluminum tube will slide on. Another nylon washer and another lock nut. So the aluminum tubing is free to spin on the number 10 screw and that's it. It's time to bolt the plate back on. measure out where you want to mount this to the back, it's important to have the track not get in the way of the beam going this way or the beam going this way. So let's see how far we can get it this way. Then once we push it all the way back, it doesn't get in the way of the beam. Pull it back to about there. Let that pivot a little bit. 
yeah this right here is the perfect spot so I'm gonna go ahead and mark that and drill it when we drill the holes from the inside the drill bit is gonna come out right about here so it's important when you drill to make sure that your drill bit does not poke through and make contact with the glass. It will break and you'll have to pay another $150 to $200 for another glass tube. So we'll be careful when we drill. All right, when this gets drilled, I don't want to go any farther than about that far. So I'm going to put some tape on and keep me from going too far into the sheet metal. this on I want to keep my the little plate I made to make sure that the, the track doesn't go any farther back this way Good. Perfect. So the track stays out of the way of the laser beam all the way over there. with that setup. All right, we're gonna follow up with a calibration. So we've got the pump running. We can see it's below 20 degrees C. And we're just gonna add some tape to the, the head right there. And we're gonna turn on the laser real quick and see how close we are. pretty good and we're almost on center I think we need to go a little bit the head needs to move that way or the laser beam needs to move that way okay I cut the zip ties off I loosened these screws and I moved the whole assembly that way a little bit because the slotted holes allow me to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and recalibrate again and see how we are. This time, the burn mark is right where we'd like to see it in the center of the hole. It's almost a little bit too far that way, which it's okay. We can uh, we can adjust it.
Perfect. Okay, one last check. Yep, right on center. All right, that's about it. I hope this video has been interesting and shows how easy it is to add an articulated chain to your K40 laser. Thanks for watching.